Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the City Reverend Board of Commissioners March 8, 2022 meeting. We begin by the Pledge of Allegiance being led by Commissioner Cynthia Reed Ward, followed with the invocation by Chairman Tinsley III. Chair, thanks, Pledge. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we're here today to ask for your blessings and guidance in the performance of our duties as elected officials. We pray for strength, love, knowledge, and understanding. Help us to recognize and solve, solve the problems that are presented. Make our solutions fair and just to the best interests of everyone. Help us to overcome our shortcomings and keep us united as a team to work for the betterment of the city and its people. Pray in your name. Thank you. First item is to approve the agenda. We have a motion to approve the agenda. So presented Mr. McCord with the motion. This is Murray with the second. All in favor, please signal by raising your hand. Six zero. Moving into presentations and delegations, recognize Richard Manani. Did I get that right? I hope. Manini. Manini. Thank you. Fleet maintenance mechanic as February 22 strongest link in the chain award recipient. Dr. Brent Keller will address. Welcome, Dr. Keller. No, come on up, Calvin. Come on up, brother. You're out there too. Uh, I'm going to let uh, the battalion chief that was on site um, do the presentation. He wrote it and submitted it, and that Mr. Oh, excuse me, battalion chief Meeks will make the presentation. Eddie's fine. Eddie's. Even good evening. I'll slide up there. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were dispatched out to a industrial accident at one of the local businesses. Uh, the outcome for the patient was unfortunate. Um, we decided that we needed some equipment from the city shop. So Richard, along with Kelvin and Tug, <clears throat> brought it out there. Uh, I discussed with Richard what I needed to happen. He told me what his machine could do. We come up with a plan and we executed it. Uh, what Richard did on scene allow created a safe working environment so that my firefighters can get in there and do what they need to do also what richard had to see that night and kelvin as well it's not stuff they see on a normal basis so and then all this was under adverse weather conditions it was pouring down rain as a matter of fact and but no complaints did everything we asked and was super Smiling and happy the whole time, even though we were getting so bad. So, Richard, thank you for your help thank and you. congratulations. Thank you. Right here, right oh, oh, oh. No, yeah. Sorry. So, the thrill of this, you get a nice plaque and you're going to wear a chain every day for the next 30 days. <laughs> He's got that already. <laughs> Richard, thank you so much for your service. Thank you very much. Yeah, Richard, y'all come on over here and get a picture, man. Okay. You're important now. <laughs> I don't want to be that. I don't either. Here. Thank you. Good job, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you all. Right. <laughs> to review financial reports for January 2020, Chief Financial Officer Marcus Schwab will address. Welcome, sir. Welcome, Mayor. Been six months of the year. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're, we're cruising right along. I uh, just want to ask if you have any questions about the cash report, loss report, or the interim financial statements. And just uh, I'll, at the same time, I want to bring up the articles that have been in the news. You all have been aware, made aware of the fuel issue. We are aware. Uh, we're monitoring everything, and we have a plan to meet tomorrow. We were, we've already been reviewing the data, so tomorrow we'll develop some plans, option A, B, C, D. Any questions from the commission? Just be aware that it's, it's going to be a challenge. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Moving into citizens' comments. At this time, the mayor opens the floor to comments from the audience. The comments should relate to specific agenda items not listed on the agenda for public hearing or to a concern within the jurisdiction of the city commission. City commission meetings serve the purpose of conducting city business and are not a form of the unlimited expression of opinion. The mayor reserves the right to limit comments to matters germane to city business and may refer speakers to the city manager or other staff for resolution. With that being said, there's no one on my left tonight. Is there anybody on my right that like to come before the board? Okay. Moving into the consent agenda, we have items three through ten. We have a motion from the board to approve the consent agenda. Someone Mr. Tinsley with a motion, Mrs. Murray with a second. All in favor of the consent agenda, please signal by the hand. Six zero. Moving into the regular agenda, item 11 is consider minutes of the City of Griffin Board of Commissioners Workshop meeting on February 22nd, 22. Commissioner McCord and Murray were absent. Do we have a motion to approve? So Mr. Tinsley with motion, second by Mrs. Warren. All in favor, please signal to raise your hand. We've got a four to two abstentions, Mrs. Murray and Mr. McCord. Item 12 will consider minutes of the City of Griffin Board of Commissioners regular meeting on February 22, 22. Commissioner McCord being absent. We have a motion to approve. Mrs. Ward with Mrs. Ward with a motion. Second by Mrs. Murray. All in favor, please signal by raise your hand. Five zero one <coughs> four abstaining. Item 13 is consider a resolution to amend the city of Griffin's fiscal year 2021-22 operation and capital budgets in the amount of five thousand dollars to recognize the donation of Griffin First Assembly of God as funds donated towards the Griffin Spalding 4th of July fireworks. So, Mr. Tinsley with motions, second by Mrs. Murray. All in favor, please signal by your hand. Accepting the donation. Six, zero. Item 13 is consider a resolution to join the Georgia Mutual Aid Pact to allow for the request of additional resources if needed needs arises. The motion approved. Mr. Tinsley with a motion. Second. Second by Mrs. Murray. All in favor, please signal raise your hand. Six, zero, or 14. Item 15 is consider a master service agreement with Heath Lineback Engineers Inc. for the transportation projects for the Public Works Department. There will be no funds submitted at this time. Do we have a motion to approve? Motion. Mrs. Murray with a motion. Do we have a second? Second by Mrs. Ward. All in favor, please signal by raising your hand. Six, zero. Item 14 is consider agreement with SDV fines in an amount not to exceed $3,500 for the updated condition assessment of the parking deck located at 100 South Hill Street. Do we have a motion to approve? That's item 16. That's item 16, yes, ma'am. Make motion. Ms. Murray. Ms. Murray with a motion. Second. Second. By Mr. McCord. Question. Question by Ms. Flowers. When, when was the last condition assessment? They had, um, going back to the records, we had one individual come in approximately 18 months ago. That's the work that you're seeing completed right, is completed right now to meet the 42 inch, whatever regulation it is. Okay. Now we're looking to have a structural engineer come in and give us what are the, the last of the useful life of this facility. And then we'll go RFP on his recommendation compared to the last assessment, combine them together and make it, um, see how long this step will last before it has to be done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Any other questions? We have a motion by Mrs. Murray, second by Mr. McCord. <coughs> All in favor of the agreement, please signal by raise your hand. Six, zero. Item 17 is consider a revision of the city's fee schedule as it relates to electric department's development fees. We have a motion to approve. Mrs. Murray with a motion. Second by Mrs. Ward. Question. Question by Ms. Flowers. Very, um, who am I? Okay. Ms. Yes. Freeman is here. Uh, I just, in, can you hear me? I can't. I'm trying to stay socially distant, but my microphone is right here, so I have it to leave. I can hear you. Um, 
is there the possibility in terms of how we put this into our budget that if we ever get back to a more normalized cost that we can adjust these or should we just anticipate that this is it? I think that we should anticipate we're still a little low. Um, we've done comparisons with other jurisdictions and we kind of knew that we are low compared to a lot of our surrounding areas as mm -hmm. it is. Um, the way that others charge is not exactly like we charge, but if you take the whole total cost, we, we are extremely low with um, new development fees. Okay. So I don't necessarily anticipate probably going back. Okay. Um, I mean, that's not to say that we can't reevaluate it, you know, in the future if costs do seem to trend down. Right. Um, I mean, you know, that we're not here to, to make a profit on this type of stuff anyway. So if we ever got to the point to where we were overcharging, we would certainly look at that and cut it back. I just don't really tend to see that that's going to be the case. Okay. Because we st we're still absorbing a lot of the cost for infrastructure to go in. So it's not, we're not passing on all of the cost to the developer by any means. Okay. So. And we haven't really raised rates in the past. Fees. 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 No, it's 2019 fees. was the last time that we um, looked at these fees, and we're not um, we're not changing all of them as as it relates to electric. Just basically the new development fees. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. We have a motion by Miss Murray, second by Miss Miss Ward. All in favor of the motion, please signal by your hand. Six zero. Item 18 is consider a claim for personal injury and offer a settlement in the amount of one million based on Andy Lydon notice dated February 2nd, 2022 from attorney Will Littlemore with Trumbull, Holcomb, Lamone, PC, staff recommends an out. Do we have a motion? No, we have a motion to deny the claim. Mrs. Murray with a motion. Do a second. Second by Ms. Ward. All in favor of the denial, please signal by raising your hand. Six zero. And these next four are all going to be pertaining to the um, mural work that's going to be going on so 206 South 6th Street, adjacent to Jerry's convenience store. First item is to consider a license agreement for art mural installation at the property owned by Jerry Black and Catherine Black, and commonly known as 207 South 6th Street, Griffin, Georgia, on the wall facing East Taylor Street. The license agreement will allow the city to partner with the artists for the creation, painting, and maintenance of a mural on the property for a period of five years. We have a motion to agree. Motion. Second. Mr. McCord with motion, second by Mrs. Murray. Question. Question. And Casey Carden is here to answer questions. Um, do we anticipate that this will be the same mural for five years or is this a, a changing art project? It's going to be, as of right now, the same mural for five years. We have the ability to do more per the license agreement if we wanted to. Um, we can subcontract, subcontract out and decide to do one every single year. But as of right now, the goal is for this one to last for five years and for us just to be responsible for maintaining what is going to be put up within the next couple of months. Okay. This is not my area of expertise, right? So um, we have a problem with the wall over here that we're responsible for. So how are, now we're drawing on somebody else's wall. Okay, how do we make sure that we're not responsible for, they don't come back and say because we drew on their wall that we're now responsible the way we are for this one over here. So the license agreement is pretty limited. All of that is really built into the terms of it. We are really only responsible for the maintenance of the paint on the wall. Uh, so it specifies we're not responsible for any sort of structural issues, structural integrity. There's limitations on liability. Should there be a problem with our subcontractors? If a car drives by and hits one of the artists on, you know, when they're going down the road while they're working on it, that that's covered. Um, so it's really all built into the contract. We can't foresee every single issue that may come up, right. um, but that is something that we accounted for and the owners themselves. Um, also, they may potentially sell the property uh, within the next five years. And so we've already spoken with the tenant as well to confirm that we're not gonna have any issues and this, all of these terms will also apply to that tenant. And so, okay, in terms of our, the, the paint, does that mean if it starts to peel, 
they call and say, hey, or if or something, that's the part that we're, the aesthetics of it is yes, what we're responsible. absolutely. And that's if we determine whether th that it's peeling or fading and needs to be touched up, or if the owners determine uh, that it needs to be touched up, they can give us a call and there's a timeline for us going out and, you know, uh, remedying that problem. I will say that at the end of that five years, we did build into it that um, if once it's terminated, we will offer to paint it to a base color or have them continue to maintain the mural in you know in its current state um so really and if it's terminated earlier than the five years that same provision applies so that way we don't have something that's fading out either they're going to be responsible for maintaining it or we will be paying over it at the end okay that's it any other questions we have a motion by mr mccord say by murray to approve the agreement all in favor please sit up and raise your hand six zero Item 20 is consider a contract with Shannon Lake in the amount of $2,700 for the mural design and layout. The mural to be located at the property commonly known as 207 South 6th Street, Griffin, Georgia, on the wall facing East Taylor Street. And so we get in motion to move to approve the revised contract, which you have a copy of in front of you with Shannon Lake as presented tonight. Can we move to approve the revised? Mr. McCord with a motion. Do we have a second? A second. Mrs. Murray with a second. All in favor, please signal by raise your hand. Six zero. Item 21 is consider a contract with Rue Colleen's Art Gallery and Studios for the Volunteer Mural Project to be completed at the property commonly known as 207 South 6th Street, Griffin, Georgia, on the wall facing East Taylor Street. The motion to approve. So moved. Mr. McCord with the motion. Second. Second by Ms. Murray. All in favor, please signal by raise your hand. Six zero. Item 22 is consider a contract for mural. Appropriation with Jay Jalil Wimbush for the mural to be located at the property commonly known as 207 South 6th Street, Griffin, Georgia, on the wall facing East Taylor Street. We have a motion to approve. Mrs. Murray with a motion. We have a second. Second. Second by Mr. McCord. All in favor, please signal by raising your hand. Six zero. And final, consider agreement with the KB Advisory Group in the amount of $18,250 for the assessment of the operation of the Griffin Spalding County Land Bank Authority. We have a motion on the agreement. Oh, uh, so much. Ms. Flowers with a motion. We have a second. Second. Second by Ms. Ward. All in favor, please offer the agreement. Please signal by raise your hand. Six. And that is our agenda. City manager report. Yes, a couple um, good things I wanted to mention. Last week we had a busy week with our employees. We uh, went out to Electric and had a safety lunch for them being the winners that I mentioned to you our safety award for last year. And um, also on Friday, I was able to visit almost every single facility that we have on this Cabin Creek and Harry Simmons. Um, but every other facility to provide them with some cookies for National Employee Appreciation Day. So it's fun to sort of get out and drive around and see Blank Mill and see uh, Still Branch and Cheetah Creek and some of those that are really sort of out there that I don't get to see. Um, so unfortunately for those that are in this building, I did not get to see them Friday since I always see them. I let staff sort of handle those cookie deliveries, but they got some, I just didn't see them. Um, also, just wanted to let y'all know that the land bank meeting is this Thursday, since we have sort of taken over those day to day operations. I feel like that's something that staff is sort of handling, particularly Chad and Michelle. So we will be there um, Thursday in Sort City Hall. We also need your registration for GMA. I think Ms. Bartholomew has packets in your um, information tonight. So if you can fill those out and give those back to us no later than Friday. Um, you all remember that that Tuesday morning registration is always um, hard to deal with. So the quicker that we can get that back, we actually sort of game plan what that looks like in our office and how to do that. So we will be working on that Friday if we can get those back from you all. Um, other good news, uh, Chief Gates has found a possible grant for the Northern District of Georgia, which we are in for Project Safe Neighborhoods, which is a community policing grant. The application is due April 1st, so he's going to uh, try to go ahead and apply for that. If we are given that grant money, then we'll come back to you asking for formal acceptance of that. But because of just the timing, when he found out about it and the application, we don't really have um, much that we have to do with y'all on the front end, but just wanted to let you know that we are trying to get some grant money there. 
And then lastly, just a thank you to, I think we've already left, our um, strongest link to Richard and Kelvin. That's a difficult thing to be called to do when not in your normal performance duties. Um, and we didn't have the big chain here tonight because it has stayed in motor pool for two months in a row. So I think that might be a first for motor pool to have back to back strongest links. So a um, big testament to Kelvin and what he's done in that department. We're very proud to have them uh, on staff. That's it. Thank you, Ms. O'Connor. Mr. Whalen. As y'all know, Bill Kemp was here at your last meeting discussing with you the advanced refunding of the, uh, actually the water and sewer bonds that are supported by our combined utility system. He's been working very hard on that, and he's got some very good news for us, I think. He's going to be here at your workshop in two weeks, and we hope that night we we'll have adopted bond resolution, and I think you will be really happy and surprised with the savings we will be able to Yes. So, feel very positive about it. Thank you. Ms. Commissioner Murray. Well, I have a lot tonight. Um, thank you again for what Mr. Panini and Calvin do for the city. Very well deserved on the uh, strongest link. It's just good to see everybody tonight and thanks for everything the board is doing. Thank you. Commissioner Flowers. Uh, just very briefly. Uh, Ms. O'Connor, I'd like to thank you for your efforts with the employee appreciation. Um, every year, I think when we go to the uh, commissioner retreat, I think to myself, like, what other small things can we do to let our employees know that we appreciate them? Um, and I am a big fan of the small wins. And so hopefully that you being out there just letting them know um, that we do value them coming to work every day. So certainly I think in this new economy, the employee culture that includes amenities and not just the policies and, and the paperwork part of it is a big deal. So thank you for that. Commissioner Ward. Commissioner Tinsley. Commissioner McCoy. And I just want to echo um, Commissioner Flowers in terms of our staff and our personnel. I mean, a lot of y'all have had to step up and take additional uh, roles the last few weeks. And um, it's just the team and the initiative uh, when I see the public works crews out there every day picking trash up in downtown or making sure that trash containers are cleaned up, the initiative is happening and it's exciting to see that uh, leadership is, is trickling down and making it happen. So thank you all to all of what you were doing. That being said, do we have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, McCord. Second by Mr. Tinsley. All in favor? Thank you.